welcome back to another episode of the Minnesota Vikings franchise. Week 16 of our third season, we are moving along super, super good at a great pace. And uh, so far, we've had very, very good weeks away games, and we might just hit a roadblock this week because the Jacksonville Jaguars have a freakishly high defensive rating of 97. That is crazy, man. On the other hand, our offense is also 97 rated, so that might equalize itself. Um, but yeah, things are looking up for us. We are looking pretty good. And uh, we are still <laughs> battling the Falcons for that top spot. And they are not budging. Jesus freaking Christ. 12 and 2. Um, I would really like to move past uh the uh, the uh wild card round that is my big target for the uh, final weeks of the season i just doubt that will get there because they are just not losing they're not losing one freaking game and uh they are at 12 and 2 they're super super solid um we've got no chance to actively push them so we have to rely on other teams to sort of break their stride there um and uh, yeah, that is something that we really can only keep our fingers crossed uh, for here in this instance. Uh, we are leading the NFC North. That is good. We're the second in the NFC. That is good. But we have to maintain this rhythm. We've got an immovable object uh, discussion against this top NFL defense that we have to figure out, though. Uh, we also have a good offense stacked against us. Dalvin Cook, a former Minnesota Viking, of course, uh, facing us here. Um, then we're going to be checking out the roster. We will be upgrading and so on and so forth. But let's kick things off with an immovable object. Coach, you're tasked with facing the Jaguars and their highly talented defense this week. Where do you think you can have success? Well, I think I'm gonna say I see no weaknesses. They're an incredible defense. When you look at them on tape, it's hard to pinpoint any weaknesses, really. We don't care how we do it. We just want to come away with a win. Yeah, so I think that is probably, uh, <laughs> probably the best thing to choose here otherwise we would have had targets to reach in terms of passing or rushing that could have been quite tricky so there we go that handled let us take a look at this freakishly high defense leading the charge trevor lawrence here kyle marks behind him at demetrius davis trevor lawrence with a superstar dave trade 24 99 rated best qb in the game all right jesus i'm breaking it right now this is horrible Halfback, Dalvin Cook, first one free, an X-Factor, of course, Travis Etienne Jr. and Braylon Allen, a rookie out of the 2024 draft. Dalvin Cook going strong here. Still, I don't regret cutting him, um, but he's the best ranked halfback currently in the game, which is not nice. Fullback is amazing stocky. What about wide receivers? We've got Christian Kirk, we've got Calvin Ridley, Russell Gage Jr. We've got Tito Atwell from the LA Rams. And Greg Dortch from the Arizona Cardinals, I think. So a very high-powered wide receiving core. The tight ends, Evan Ingram. We've got Johnny Smith and Brevin Span for the rookie out of 24. Johnny Smith, formerly of the New England Patriots, I think. No, uh, yeah, New England Patriots, then Atlanta, and uh, then uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars here. On the offensive line, we've got Amarius Mims, and that has to be... Uh, one of those weird ones from uh, the CPU generated class because he's called exactly as my center, which is awesome. Walker Little, uh, Wal Walker Little, Jesus Christ, behind him. We've got left guard Jonah Jackson, Trent Hall. We've got the center Nick Harris, who we actually moved on. We've got Luke Fortner and Michael Jurgens, the rookie out of the 2024 draft, who is actually almost as good as. Nick Harris is. Right guard is Brandon Scherf, the veteran still going strong. Jordan McFadden of the 23 draft. Right tackle, Cody Ford, 27 and 79. We've got Cooper Beeb, a 2024 rookie. And let's take a look at defense. Tyree Wilson, superstar, 24 95. His backup, Jared Wilson. Oh my lord. Tyree Wilson, superstar, fifth best ranked left end. Oh my lord, this is going to be something. Right edge, Quandre Holt, 24 81. CPU rookie, Zach Harrison. And Zetio Tobewo are the players in the right edge room. D tacklers Devon Hamilton, got Keandre Coburn, and Elaine Jackson. CPU player, 2023 player, and uh, Devon Hamilton. Where did he come from? Miami Dolphins? No. Longtime Jackson's Jaguars player. And left outside linebacker. We've got Jamie Griffin, a Zone Hawk player. This is a CPU rookie. We've got Josh Allen behind him. And we've got Jeremiah Troy Jr. out of the 2024 draft. Middle linebacker for Yasade Oluokun, 29 and 92. We've got David Lloyd 
and Chad Muma. Again, high-powered midline back in group. We've got Traven Walker at the right outside linebacker position, 23-91. We've got Deshaun Dixon. Cornerbacks, Tyson Campbell, 24-99. Where did he come from? Was he there already? Yeah, Jackson was Jackson since 2021. We've got Rocky Sin, Isaiah Simmons, formerly of the Cardinals, now playing at cornerback, not midline backer anymore, but crazy, crazy good group here. We've got Ty Kirkpatrick, and we've got Elliot Gordon. Again, super high-powered with a superstar right there. Absolute elite. Andre Sisko, free safety. Josh Mickens behind him. That's a CPU-generated player. Uh, Andre Sisko, formerly of the Panthers, if I'm not absolutely mistaken. Nah, all the time Jacksonville. Jesus Christ, I'm completely confused now. Ronnie Harrison Jr., 2783. Rakim Steele, CPU player. And Ronnie Harrison, he came from the Browns, right? Give me, give me that. Denver. All right, there you go. <laughs> Cleveland Browns, Denver Broncos, and then Jackson the Jaguars. All right, so at least got that one right. Yeesh. Kicker is Matthew Wright. Punter is Logan Cook. And how do we approach that? How do we even approach that? Well, I think that we just have to be extremely flexible. That has to be our, our main target. We're going to go with the short passing again. I will only be going with half pads here. Uh, we're going to be splitting towards the end of the season. Right now, I'm not that interested in uh, collecting experience points. I'm more interested in making sure that we have a fully fit team uh, when we hit the playoffs. Um, and there is nothing worse than losing a starter at this point in the season. Uh, the team profile, what are we going to be doing? Let's get an interception. Let's allow 24 points. Let's get 250 yards. It's always the same, right? It's just always the same. I would love it if this would vary a little bit more. All right, no injuries, all went well. We can now upgrade players, and let's do just that. Christian Darisaw gets an upgrade, our left tackle, even more solid, 97 base, 91 overall with the buff, of course. Caleb Williams gets another upgrade. He's now a low 90 and 91 improviser, of course. Um, we will be looking at the other ones as well. The Scrambler will be the next one that I would be going for here, of course. Kareem Hunt, let's go with this here. A utility addition. He's been very good at the fullback position. Really like that. Marcus Davenport, again, important player. I like him. I just don't want to pay him the money that he wants to see. Ed Ingram will be out with a torn labrum for two more weeks. To be honest, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Mason Smith, here we go. We had a reveal, by the way. I'm just going to show you that right now. No surprise, a start of trade, the rookie out of LSU. But I don't really care because it's awesome to have him on the team, to have him where we have him at the D-tackle position. We have a very solid D-tackle group. Raheem Kindley is fit and is here. And with all of that said and done, guys, I'm going to kick off the game. Yeah, heart is pounding. Let's go. It's good to be back home. Skull Vikings, US Bank Stadium. And here comes Coach Tredius jogging onto the pitch. And uh, there we go. 3,419, 32 touchdowns, 9 interceptions for Trevor Lawrence. Caleb Williams, good rookie season, number 13. I like his play. Justin Jefferson has proven that is very valuable to us. Defensive players, Kenneth Murray Jr. And uh, Aiden Hutchinson showing off the uniforms here, of course. Here come the Jaguars. They're the away team. So they can prove themselves. We have to sort of, we're expected to win this. Reigning Super Bowl champions, number one. Number two, yeah, coming off a very, very good uh, uh, streak here at the moment. But definitely, definitely have to perform here. And as always in the NFL, you always start from zero. So we're going to start from zero with a halfback zone week. Not really looking too much forward to this. Dig deep. Let's see. We've got Jameis Griffin, Tyson Campbell, Tyree Wilson. But there's so many highly rated players on this offensive, uh, on this defensive line facing our offensive, which is basically what I wanted to say. But Alexander Madison kicking it off with a good run here. Straight down the middle. He does find the space that he needs. He is stopped. There is no question about the quality of this defense. And there we go. Run into the opposing players. Pretty quickly. There we go. 
Let's set up a 26 duo, but psych, of course, we're going to go for a pass play here. I want to see how that plays out. Thomas Fidoni, we've got McKenzie. Oh my lord, come on man, you had it in your hands. I was about to praise the dude, and then he just drops it. That was a bad performance. That was a very bad performance. We've got Addison, we've got McKenzie. And this is Addison. Being stopped here by two Jaguars defenders, fourth and three, Caleb Williams. One out of two. I'm not going to punt. I don't think that we can afford to punt. Let's, let's just put it that way. I'm going to go with a wide trail. Going to be looking for Jordan Addison. I just know that they will try to cancel him out here. But they, of course, do not calculate on him being that good. Stopped here. Both feet were down. Very well done. The halfback zone. Let's go. Let's break through here. Come on. Ezra Cleveland. Oh my god. Pressure is high. Pressure is very high. I don't know if you can tell, but there's just really hardly any gaps here. Let's try this one. Jefferson, McKenzie, Rager. Oh, number 23 just stepping in there and sort of slapping it away going, nope. Not today. Third and nine. Looking for Addison. Rager is my worst case option. And I have to go there. Not great. There we go. Fourth and three. Ezra Cleveland with an injury timeout. Oh, that is not good. Let's go with a fullback dive. Three yards. We should be able to break through here. We've got a very talented fullback. And here we go. All right. We step across the line just barely making it. And I think you can tell by the way that this game is shaping up. What a struggle this is. Raheem Kindley, Jordan Addison, Rager, maybe, maybe Rager. Raheem Kindley tried getting there, but didn't help. Zion Nelson, let's go. I need you to take over. Pressure was there. The pressure definitely is on. Third and ten. I just saw him stepping out. And I was like, ah, shoot. Let's go to the flood. Plus, the ball was really shaky in the air. Nate McKenzie. Justin Jefferson. And the block is so quick. Tyree Wilson. Fourth and three. It's not Tyree Wilson. It's Rocky Sin. My bad. It's not throwing very nicely. Fourth and three. Again. Guys. Can we stop doing that? Maybe. A mesh spot. We, we have to put pressure on them. I don't think that will get a better chance. You know? Oh, ah, and that's a flag. Was that a pass interference? That would be awesome. Pass Hell yeah. Hells to the bells, yeah. I can't accept. Wait, what? Excuse me, I didn't decline the penalty. Oh, you bastards. What was that? What was that? Come on, D. Defense holds them. That is big. Let's go. Inside zone. But it was our chance. It was our chance to get something done here. Alexander Madison. And here we go. Oh, towards the outside. And uh, no. Rocky Sin was there again. Play action, dig cross. Let's go with this here. Thomas Fidoni looking for Darnell Washington. Just trying to tear them apart, Lisa. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, we get pushed down. Second and 12. And that's Griffin. Probably should have tried just throwing the ball out of bounds. All right. Is that going to come back and haunt me? Let's go with the cross track. Jefferson Addison. Oh Christ on a stick man. 
Why are they stopping on their routes? They are stopping. They're not running. It's both Jefferson and Addison slowed down very, very quickly. And here we go. Nate McKenzie pushing forward. Well done, my man. Even getting a user stiff arm in there. And in case you were wondering, that giant on the sidelines, that was Brandon Scherf. I think he's 10 foot something. Joking, of course, but he's a really big dude. Wow! Beautiful shove, beautiful stiff arm here by Alexander Madison. Does get forward. Second and four, Jalen Rager again. Can we get Jalen Rager back there? On the ball. Stopped here, third and one. We can work with that. Let's go to an inside zone. Alexander Madison, three minutes, 30 in this second quarter. Come on, Ezra. Push that advance by number 23. That's Oluwodokun. 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 You know who I mean, right? So there we go. Next up. It's 10 side run. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Players running behind our own line of scrimmage. So that is not great. Jalen Rager or Addison. Hurry, hurry. Or curry, curry. Is he hungry? I don't know. Jalen Rager holds on to the ball. Fantastic. Third and one. This is what I wanted to see before, my man. Dig wide receiver option. And of course, we're going to go inside zone. Two minute warning. Interesting. Here you go with the bench. Thomas Fidoni going to be the short route receiver. And I'm going to try and get him. There we go. Beautiful. Second touchdown for the rookie. He's had very mixed performances. Let's stop him. And we do that. Our defense is great, man. At the 20-yard line. Momentum. Let's get momentum shifted our way. Come on, Caleb. Off we go. Let's go back. And we can't get the ball away. Second and 21. Freaking hell. Freaking hell. That is not what I wanted to see here. Of course... Let's go the levels. Jordan Addison. Probably my best bet here. Trying to get forward. Third and six. That is a big, big chunk of yardage. Taken off of the length here. Jalen Rager is the safe option. I've got McKenzie. I've got Addison. And one of these two will have to make do here. Ooh. Almost thought that was going to go down, and it didn't. Here we go. Well done, Jordan. What is this? Is this halftime? Oh, for crying out loud. I wasn't watching the clock. All right, let's run it inside. That works. Let's keep defending the short pass. That works. Let's kick it off left. I have no idea if this is going to work. But we were doing so well. Oh, I would have liked a field goal. And again, it's, it's that field goal that I should have taken early on I didn't do that I didn't do that there we go come on D defense doesn't hold them this time it was a bit much to ask of them and now defense has the momentum oh let me get away no number five that's Andre Sisko wraps his arms around the hips and there we go stopped very quickly Jordan Addison, right inside run, looking for Rager, looking for McKenzie. Well done. You know, we can be very productive. We can be very productive. We can be very quick on these plays. We can have good yard pickups. It just doesn't always work. There you go, Justin Jefferson. With the first down here. Very nice. Well done, my man. Let's go the bench switch. Another one here. This time, Jordan Addison's going to be the man to look out for. Oh, out of reach. Second and ten. That was... Weird. That would have been the easy part, right? Devonishing. Off we go. 
Snap is live. The snap is live. And one hour ticket there. Number 23. Old Wadu He's here. He's always here. Third and eight. Alexander Madison. We're being stopped here. Very, very far back. Can we get the ball to Alexander Madison? And yes, we can. And he, he pushes forward fourth and inches. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. I thought it was sort of hopping into the uh, hopping into the pylon there. A halfback dive. Let's go with this. It is inches, guys. Oh my god, and we don't get the fucking inches! Shit, man! Come on, D. Oof. And that's a big oof, man. That is a huge oof, and we're very far back. Oh my lord. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Second and nine. Yeah, we are really, really having trouble getting the run game. Gonna go with the day cross here. Thank you, Darnell Washington. And this is why I wanna keep him. He's so solid. Throwing out of the own end zone right there. Ooh. There we go. Alexander Madison. It's Rick Cleveland. Come on, get his stop done. Man, oh man, nothing happening. Number 10, Isaiah Simmons. Inside zone. Let's go left. Second and eight. Two minutes 46 on the clock here. I want to see progress. I need progress. Alexander Madison is progress. Olwodukun. There we go. That's the name. Whew. Halfback zone week. Left hand side run. Let's go with this one here. Two minutes, 14. Yeah, Andre Sisko. Probably the easiest stop that he had all game. Two minutes around the clock. Jalen Rager, Nate McKenzie. And there we go. There's no escape from the big dudes, but at least we pick up a first down, right? So another left-hand side run. If we can break through the line, because they're stacked at the line of scrimmage. But you know, if we can find the... Jesus, man, and we can't find the goal. Uh, we get caught on the shoulder pads of our own players. That is not great. Jamie Griffin, here we go. Now we find some space, and that was an important lunch by Wilson here. Timeout called. 1 minute 11. It's 7 versus 7. It's an incredibly tight game. Drop me down below in the comments. Why do you think that is? Was it the play calling? Was it the defense that is just so good? Immediate, quickly. Quickly, uh, the flag here. Is that a face mask? All right, we're going to take it. We're going to take it because that, of course, was not great. All right, here we go. <laughs> Number 53, you have to hold on to your man, man. Come on, man, 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 man. Getting stuck on the word man right there. I'm not really sure what the best approach here is. They're really, really stacked. Absolutely stacked right now. Let's drag him apart. A little bit more. But let's go with the inside zone audible. Let's try this one. Right inside. 53 with a block. Mm, Alexander Madison. And another timeout. Third and six. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. We're really not making the progress that I'd like to make here. And we're still too, too far away from there. Oh, from getting a touchdown. And that is a fourth and four. And we are held again. Jesus Christ. This defense is crazy good. And I think I'll just let the clock run down a little bit more. 
I know it's risky. It is really risky. If we don't get this, then it's overtime. But I think if we get the field goal with, I don't know, 15 seconds to go, we should have a chance at winning this one here. So let's go. Kaboom and kaboom. Perfectly timed. Ball is away. We get the field goal. 16 seconds on the clock. It is good. Worley Patterson does a good job here. And now let's see. 10 versus 7. So Devonishin receives here. Let's see what we can get done in this overtime. And a shame we get to the 24 at least. That is something. Let's go inside zone. Really, really infuriating that they got that and they got that field goal. I really thought we had him. Oh my goodness. And Devon Shane really caught up in our own lines. This is this is really stupid, but okay. Here we go. Jordan Addison. Let's get him going. Secure catch. Third and two. We're moving ahead here at, uh, well, at a pace that I'm not really crazy happy about. But we're going to go with a halfback slash here. Let's try and just get that first down. Let's just keep, keep moving ahead. There we go. Traven Walker. Seemingly unhappy with uh, the with the progress here. There we go. Oh, a lot of struggles here as we push forward. Second and three. Let's go with an inside zone. Left hand side. Devin is shame. They're stacking up extremely close to the line of scrimmage. So if we can break through, if we can find some space here. Oh, let's try and get away. Nope, not working. He is quick, but not that quick. Next up, inside zone, a left-hand side. I'm going to let Madison go here. Left-hand side run. Somebody's breathing hard on that side. Maybe that's a chance for us. Second and seven. And they're just coming from all sides. They're coming from all sides. They're breaking. They're coming from behind. Hut, hut. There we go. Mm, there's just no getting through. Third and four. Inside zone. It's just very, very powerful players. Very powerful. Very strong. And really overpowering our offensive line regularly. 153 yards for Alexander Madison today. Once again, he's carrying the team, man. Can we get this one here? Hold on to the ball, my man. Well done, Jalen Rager. Well done, Caleb Williams. Sort of breaking them up here. Field goal, 28 yarder. I don't really see the need to do that right now at first and 10. Let's go with the four verticals. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer or maybe even break in with a touchdown. Yeah, not like that, Caleb. Not like that. I don't even know what that was. Let's go to the dagger. Mackenzie, Rager. Let's go. I mean, if anything, we're just trying to get a little bit closer for the field goal. And here we go. Let's, let's get this done here. Perfectly timed. Ball is between the sticks. And there we go. 11 seconds on the clock. 11 seconds on the clock. Are they going to turn that around as again? As again? As well and again? All right. The game ended rather abruptly. Trevor Lawrence with an interception. Caleb Williams, 260 yards. Well done here. 153 yards uh, for Alexander Madison. David Cook wasn't bad either. On the receiving side, we really pushed him hard. Addison Jefferson doing well. Jonah Jackson allowed sacks. 
Solo tackle, Tyson Campbell and Brian Branch. Total tackle leader, Isaiah Simmons and Rocky Sin. Quite a few tackles for loss. Quite a few sacks. Jameis Griffin, Tyree Wilson, Aiden Hutchinson and Mason Smith. One interception by Mikai Blackman. Well done, Mikai. Coach, does getting a win against a defense of this caliber make that any sweeter given the challenge you were up against? Uh, what's the reply? They were all sweet, maybe a little sweeter because of the additional challenge, like you said. But it's hard winning games in this league, so every win is sweet. Yeah, I agree. Eat that win. 1000 XP plus 5 morale for all players. Yay. There we go. That's going to help us. Moving along here with another win. This is awesome. Next week, San Francisco, then the Panthers, then the playoffs. Hope you enjoyed today's game. It was a little bit longer than usual, a little bit rougher, a little bit tougher. But I much appreciated that you're here. Hope you liked it. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And see you next time.